Hello, Lego lovers. This is Elle, and this is a Lego Disney parts review. This is Antonio's Magical Door, set number 43200. Has 99 pieces and effectively is a storybook, much like we had our Disney Princess storybooks. And they have similar but different parts for that exterior. So, you know what, let's jump into that exterior right away. So, this is the new part, and as you can see, we have a nice lime, well, not lime, kind of that ghostly green, actually. Um, I love this, um, getting different colors for stuff. The insides are fairly the same, and I do have one that does not come in the set of the old ones, and you can see that the studs are in about the same spot, except up here, that's completely flat. But we have a little kind of notched in area, and this creates the lock that is utilizing the key mechanism, or the, you know, I don't know, it's basically a key mechanism. This is the same, otherwise, this has a wonderful print. I have not seen the movie, so I can't even do spoilers, but you can see that this character apparently likes lots of animals, and you have kind of some leaves on the side. I just love these detail um, on there. We have studs right here with holes. That's where you can open it up with the key. And even though this is a fantastic print here, one of the cool things in comparison to the other ones is utilizing those studs. We can actually attach a plate to it and you can see here this is one of the advantages over the other ones which you couldn't do that with this lip here um, and that's just kind of a nice thing so it gives it a lot more versatility for building I mean just as a quick thing you could imagine this is some sort of built-up stage um, it's just it just adds to its versatility I think as a part but that is a fantastic print. One thing these don't have is inside prints. Um, I don't believe so. Nope. So this is the exact same thing, just no front print. So that's the exterior storybook part. Just love the print. That is a really awesome print. And here we have this exterior, which I do believe we got in this color previously. That kind of darkish green, blue turquoise type color hopefully it somewhat shows up on the camera but it is a nice color um one of my favorite type colors might be a little blue on my camera for some reason but other than that has the same lego logo it's very similar to the other storybook parts there's no difference actually let's actually check out the stickers before we get into the rest of the parts so these storybook pictures have something which i think is really cool um, they are just useful stickers you can put all around. So first of all, we have our kind of storybook binding sticker. We have our name sticker. And then this one here is the door sticker, um, which I think is a neat little sticker. But this kind of has a leafy aquatic, um, not quite jungle type theme. But I really love these stickers. We have different colored like lily pads. We have a nice little water thing here. We have like vines with flowers. We have lots of leaves, fern, greenery. Um, we even have some books here. We have some footprints there. Some different footprints. Some kind of like hanging gourd type houses. And even a trail of ants. And usually they use these. Oh, and actually a picture there pretty cool one they usually have these where you can just put them wherever but i just think as a sticker sheet these can be useful for mocks and other kinds of things or just whatever you can imagine i think they're really good quality um looking stickers so let's get into the parts this one has me excited for a couple of reasons into the parts but let's get into it first of all we have that kind of dark turquoise color here um, I'm not sure on the rarity of some of these, but usually it was only in Trolls. But we have the upper arch, and we have three of those. We have this nice lower arch, which I don't know if we've gotten before. Even if we have, it's going to be fairly uncommon. Um, just a nice part to get, and again, we have three of those. We also have this one by one by three brick. And again, just nice to see that in a different color. We also have the cylinder, which I don't think we've had, or at least half cylinder. 
Um, only one of in this set. I usually like getting two so you can complete the circle. That's just me. But it does kind of have a square going down the middle, which I think is pretty cool. More dark turquoise interesting parts. We have this arch. I feel like we've gotten that before. I don't think we've gotten this before in that color. Only one of in this set, though. Um, and then also this part. I don't know if we've gotten that one. Hard to say. I know we've gotten these, I think, in different sets, but I could be wrong. But again, just another part that's great in more colors. And this, which I think is really unique, is the key part in that same color. Again, this is a bar connection, so you can put it in clips and mini figure, mini doll hands. And you can also use the part like that to get parts off. So that's a dark turquoise. We also have some sand green clips. Not too exciting, but still nice that they're not in just a plain color. Um, probably the only highlight here in gray is this part, which is just a nice bar type part that's really usable. This, I believe, is the new part. This is what they're going to be using for the locking mechanism. And you can see we got an axle all the way down there and two kind of pin connections there. That will be done in the review. I'll definitely go over that. Now in green, we do have a variety of color of green. Parts that I don't feel like I've seen too often. Um, we have some of the curved plates. These are great for building up greenery. Some just square plates. Just a good medium part. We have this double jumper, which I feel like has probably been used in Minecraft. Um, we also have these kind of rounded cylinders. But kind of the highlight, because I like my floral parts are two of these, which is kind of like an inverted leaf pattern. Just an interesting, versatile part. And having two of those in there is pretty nice. And then some slopes in green. And then we get to a little bit of blue. Basically, the specialist thing in blue is this new kind of corner slope. Um, we've recently started to see this a little bit. Um, I think we've gotten this color in another set, in a front set. But it just kind of goes with, we have one in magenta here, these parts. So you can kind of create a corner. So if you wanted to create like a complete square of that slope, you really can. I think that's really cool. And you actually get four of those in this set. And then going over to yellow, we got some interesting parts. Or this kind of not, you know, the orangish yellow. We have this windshield in it. And I don't think we've gotten this in that color. I could be wrong. And if so, very uncommon. Um, so cool just to get another part. I want to say they use it as a hammock in here. And then another interesting part is the new butterfly piece, which so far we've only gotten in two yellows. Um, and it just I just like the curvatures on it. It looks really nice. It does kind of have a thick stud connection, but I'm okay with that. And it looks like you can put an accessory or more than likely attach it to grass, which I think is a cool connection. And we get three of those in here. In gold, we get the pins that we've seen for the storybooks before. Not too special, but we also get this gold window pane. Just kind of a weird thing. I think that's what the sticker goes on. It's just an interesting part to see in gold. We also get the key ring or, you know, what do they use them for? The bag tags. Um, just kind of a simple mechanism that you can do stuff. Unfortunately, this is not a bar. So, kind of wish it was a bar and make it a little bit more interesting. We do get one of my favorite parts, or two of I should say. The 1x2 rounded with holes in studs plate. Two of those. <clears throat> There's some brown in here. Not too special. But, in one of my favorite colors, a pink, down here, you can see we have two of the larger in this magenta leaf parts or branch parts. Just love colorful parts. Speaking of love and colorful parts, magent this magenta three leaf part. Oh my gosh, I love it. I, l I love that with these storybooks, we're getting two different colors of these. It's going to make like crazy leafed builds of, you know, whatever, just really cool. And we get six of them right off the bat in this small storybook set. So that's really cool. And hopefully I'll get some more of those. We also have some cookie prints. Nothing too special, to be honest. Now let's get to our figures and animals. First of all, I'm going to be bad at names. I don't remember her name, and I really could, should, because I believe she's the main character of Encanto. But 
there's so much to love. First, we have a quite a different face print. It is still a continuation of being happy, but I just love the super excited look and the open mouth. Um, I want to see Lego doing some more, and I think we do have some more upcoming of emotions. Um, because I think that adds to the ability for mini dolls to be used for varieties of things. But barely able to see, that print is fantastic on there. I love it. Um, the shirt print is great. I love this figure. I love that hair piece. I love that we're getting different colored skin tones because that's how the world looks. It's not just one skin tone. And I don't have a problem building or playing with multiple different skin tones. Um, obviously, it might be harder based on clothing, but the more we get, the easier that becomes. So then we have Antonio, and I love his little outfit there. Nice printing. Pretty nice with the pants. Um, it's just a crisp cutoff. There's nothing too special. Would have been nice to kind of just have black boots there, but whatever. I'm fine with it. Um, and then, of course, we get this newer skin tone, which we haven't seen before super happy and we get this great hair piece i just love what they're doing um they're really getting the variety in there no real special facial print but still great micro doll i've probably been saying mini doll but whatever so let's get to this little guy which is a little underwhelming in my mind so this is the hamster gerbil type um figure and they're using it for i believe they're called pangolins not penguins, pang pangolins, I want to say. They're like a big rodent type thing. Um, they're almost the size of a small dog. So I feel like using this piece, unless it's like an infant or, you know, like a baby, feels a little off. And all they really did was they made that darker nose spot. These don't, you know, maybe a little bit look like him. But like I said, it would have to be a baby still kind of cute it just doesn't feel right for what it is and then we have this tiger which i really love that face print there's lots of detail on that i think it's a tiger i could be wrong either way love that they kind of have a little detail for the claws and we even have actually this is a leopard i would think i could be wrong i don't know but i love that they're putting some detailed printing on there and we can put an accessory up top just a really nice cute looking animal that feels like it has a pretty detailed print on it so whew, i got through all of the parts in this set and this is only a 20 dollars small set but i have to say i love colorful stuff and this is loaded with it. I love that we're getting new parts and more parts in that dark turquoise. Love that we're getting those magenta um, leaf parts. Love that we're getting new curves. Love the butterflies. Getting some interesting colors for some parts. Those, I, I like the new storybook. It might be a little difficult to have them up, but you'd have to take the key off to have them like on a bookshelf. But Overall, I'm really loving these storybooks, um, or magical doors, depending on how you say it. This is a fantastic print, even though, like I said, it kind of is hard to make it useful. Um, a good example is like the Friends, those uh, printed on play cubes. But like I said, the advantage with this is that with these studs here, I mean, we could have gone for some more. But since it's flat, it allows us to cover it if we so want. So we're not ruining the print off of the part, but it allows us to use this part in just a better way. So that is my parts review for this set. Overall, I think it's great. Um, I think it's better than some of the original ones we got, whereas there's not as many printed parts there's more interesting parts and we also get those parts which i think are more useful so i have to give this set a great rating um i think it's really cool i think it would be fun if you're getting it for a child especially if they love the movie big bonus i think there's you know lots of parts here that are just going to be useful in general i will build it up and hopefully get to doing a review but for now this is my parts review and i i'm in love with both of the books hopefully you check out the other book or any of my other videos and thank you again for watching